Hello guys, I'm just going to do a video um, of me making these bunches. I have to move this out of the way. <coughs> Sorry, I thought that was moved. Um, uh, I don't know, remember if you remember in a haul video that I did and I said I was going to make a bunting for my birthday and then hang up pictures and I will show you how I made them. So I have got eight buntings in all and I'll show you how I did the last one. So here is, um, I mean eight bunting, eight little flags in all and then I just layered all the stuff together. So I thought rather than me endure having to make all of them, I show you how I made all the different layers. So I started off with this, which was a square doily, which I cut around it, and then I cut those little flaggy bits off. Then I got um, a hanky, like a, these two vintage hankies. One is a little different to the other one, but um, I was able to get, look, you end up like hands like lepers jolly well um, so what you do is you get a, a hanky a vintage hanky of some sort you fold it in half and you cut it into four and it ends up being like that so I got a really sort of really dainty antique type linen ones that I've got but I thought I'd just show you that's what you do with that so so that's this layer and then I've got this, and so I cut one, two, three, four, five. So this is sort of like the angle lace, which I got from with an end of a scarf. I got another lot like that as well. So the reason why I do five, now I think that might be the wrong way. And snip that off the top there like that, just so it fits. And then all the different layers and then I get the dangle lace where are we and that goes up here so that the number five I got five so that the fifth one dangles in the middle and then this got all of these I got from I bought a bit of lace um, I don't know what that was on on a top or something like that that was from the thrift shop as well I try and buy all a lot of my lace from um, either antique shops or op shops or thrift shops anywhere that I like to get them second hand and so I just cut like that there and then rounded it off so that part goes on here like that and then this last piece was from um, this um, piece that I got from the op shop as well for two dollars for the whole lot which was really good so and that's gonna go that way yeah that's it so what I do and there's it's a no sew one so if you're keen on no sewing this is the thing for you so you start off with an oily that's got a bit of a you know one like it was a, it was a square one that was like that and that had a center in the middle or you can get ones just as ones a square ones that with four peaks a bit like a bit like that you can start off with something like that so the square ones are the best ones for that okay so we got my heater on at the moment just add a little bit of glue this is um craft glue or fabric glue does tend to go all the way to there so there make sure you get the right side which is really hard to tell with these ones I think it's the right side now this one compared to the other one it was a little wider like they were pretty much similar, but see how this one here has got more of a rounded edge, not as wide. That one's a little bit wider, but that doesn't matter. It's still a vintage hanky and it looks beautiful. So what I'm going to do with this after I've finished my birthday, I'm going to be hanging them 
this up in my studio um, on the wall. So now, now we need this one, and believe it or not, there's a front and back side to that as well. You can use hot glue gun if you prefer, but I haven't got a really good hot glue gun, so I need to get myself one. But so this is good, but it can be expensive. So make sure that the that one, the middle one, is dangling in the middle. That's how you can tell. That's why I do five. So pretty. So pretty. And then we get this piece, and that will cover. I thought this was a tad long. Might just cut some of that off. Now, let me get this piece. There is a front and a back side. That's hard to tell. I think it goes that way. And this little bit sticks on the top, so I don't. I just glue. I don't glue all the bottom half down because I'd like it to dangle a little bit. Got my little heater on in here. That's a little whirring you can hear in the background, but you may not be able to hear that. So I do all the top apart from. The middle one because that's going to be hanging over the top a little bit okay and then you can grab it by the top then it'll go over the top like that okay this is why your hands end up like lepers <laughs> and then i've got this part that will go just there like that. And the reason why I've got it hanging low because I want to still see some of that. And there's another reason as well. I'll show you that in a minute. Oop. Little dobs. Ugh. The trouble with this glue, man, it is really strong. It's the acetate or whatever it is in there. It stinks. You only need a ventilated area. There we go. Now, now the tricky bit is going to be me figuring out how the heck do I put on the string. So, whoop. Okay, looks so pretty. Now, I've got, I've got this string, which I do want to um, put on there, but I'm actually thinking, in 10, I'm just going to pause. Okay, I'm back again. I've got some of this ribbon here, which is a little thicker. Before I um, think of doing that, I was going to do... Um, when I finished with my photos, I would like to go back and either, I probably want one that size, um, but maybe in more this toning, if you know what I mean. Um, um, but it needs to be a little bit bigger. So I might have a combination of this fabric and that fabric and make a really sort of big one. You can still see a little bit of that on there. Um, yeah. So something like that, and when I hang it on the wall. But then, in the meantime, I'm going to okay get the little photos here like this, and have a peg like that, like that, and then that'll be hanging up um, at my party with all different photos of me as a child. From, from a baby to um, just sort of different stages. Um, just something a little bit different and then I'm going to hang the bunting in um, in around the, my studio. I've also got 
some of this, which I could very well use that to hang it off. But I don't know. Got that one and the little baby one. A little baby. This one here, which is rather cute. Um, but I really, I really love this colour. And I'm thinking that would probably look really nice just in there. It brings out that greeny colour that's in there because I don't know what else I'm going to use this for. So just wondering. I don't know how much of this I've got. I may not have enough. I don't think so. I don't think it's enough. Noob. Well, I'm going to have to think because I don't think the bunting will be long enough to hold eight of those. So I'm going to think of another idea for that one, but I will probably use this for something, I'm sure. Okay. I've got a big bag from the uh, vintage market full of all trims and laces. It was such an awesome find. Okay. There's the one that goes on here like that. And then I spent an evening twisting them around little cards. Now, I'm thinking, where's my little, nope. Maybe cute, but that would look nice and festive, but I just think it's probably too much, if you know what I mean. Um, here's a really big needle. Just going to test out a theory. Ugh. Tastes disgusting. It's sort of a hempy colour. <laughs> Probably all killing ourselves laughing on the other side of the camera. Now, yeah, that'll do. Just enough to get it in. Okay, what I was thinking is maybe threading some of this through. And It'll give it a little bit of stability, but also add the, the white and the, and the green colour. And it's going to be easier said than done, I can tell you. Okay. Just have a bit of a sticky of what it looks like. I think, I think that would probably be very nice. So there you go, that's probably something I'm going to do and then I'm just going to have a mass amount of this. So this was nice but no cigar. Okay. Have a big long piece of this which I will thread this through which may take me a while so I won't be doing it on camera and then attaching it to I'm going to leave a bit of a loop like it's going to have a bit of a loop on the end so that can attach onto something like that but I just thought rather than just having that I need I wanted to have something else so that'll be on there like this and then you'll start off with one and I may sew it on by hand. So what I'm going to need to do is see how much of a gap we need in between. About that much. I reckon that's pretty good. And then I'll show you with another one. one there like that and then we 
get baby Sue's and then a little bit bigger baby Sue's and then one with my piggy tails and we'll hang the pictures all around there like that I think that will be really nice so there you go um, I'm gonna take some pictures and maybe a little bit of video um, when I have my party and um, I'm gonna have an album so I'll probably show some of the stuff in my album but I really love it and it's gonna be so pretty hanging up in um, my studio after it's done I think it'll be beautiful in with a bit like that I like that gets a look through the camera definitely that size but with a bit of that in there as well so I think I'm gonna have a combination of the two that would look really nice well there you go guys so that's what you can do with a bunch of doilies to make a bunting you don't necessarily have to have this but um oh excuse me I just a dizzy spell I get that every now and again if the whole world moves and um but I think you're just going to give it a little bit more stability and make it look really pretty so there you go thanks for watching and it's just a very quick video in between my doing my gnome journals and um yeah I've got a busy week this week getting ready for my party and all. I just picked up my dress today which was really nice so okay guys I'll uh I'll catch you on the next video thanks for watching bye